So I'm checking some of these cordylines uh, for aphids and other pests and um, I've seen that there's some aphids and something very interesting going on here. Okay, so if we have a look in the crown of this cordyline, we can see that there's a bit of activity going on. For start as you can see ants and whenever you see ants, think farming. Now, if we have a bit of a closer look, you can see that there are aphids. But straight up, you can see that there are two different things going on here. There's a light spotted one and a dark one. So when you've come across a plant with aphids or other pests on it, it's a good idea to have a look to see if there are any beneficial insects like for example that lady beetle that's a, a mealy bug lady beetle larvae that white one here just there that's a baby lady lady beetle these guys are about one two millimeters big I'm gonna need to have a look under the microscope there are some healthy aphids there, an adult and a baby. And there are some very unhealthy or dead aphids. Now those aphids have been parasitized or impregnated with a larvae from a wasp or another beneficial insect and they have parasites essentially larvae of wasp or whatever the beneficial insects growing in them they're essentially dead okay so that is one dead aphid you can see the exit wound where the larvae of the the wasp or whatever parasitized this aphid has exited There's some excellent beneficial activity going on here. So even though there's aphids and ants, I'm gonna let nature take its course because this population of aphids is under attack by nature and that's a good thing.